I was your typical able-bodied girl growing up. I was a talented badminton player, but I was also lazy. I took it for granted. Fast forward, I'd finished university and I bought a motorbike. I passed my test and 12 days later, I didn't make it back one evening. Um, I hit what we call a telegraph pole in a post box and I broke my back. My life changed forever on that day. I was 21 years old, in a heartbeat, I'd broken my back and my life had changed, so I was no longer able to walk. I was confined to being in a wheelchair and, and to me I had no idea what that life was going to be. Tennis kind of came into my life. When I bought my first wheelchair I met a guy called Pete Norfolk. So he was, at the time, the quad wheelchair tennis world number one. So for me, amazing person to meet. We were just chatting that I'd been playing badminton before my accident and he lent me a tennis wheelchair and said, Try tennis and I tried it and I loved it. How has it changed your life being a wheelchair athlete? It's completely transformed it. I met people that were far more able than myself or more disabled than myself. Now I travel around the world, I play in tournaments, I compete in the Grand Slams and I've been at three Paralympic Games. So for me, tennis has given me a way of life and has helped me overcome my disability. From Great Britain, Lucy Shulker. Let's talk about what the tennis calendar looks like for a wheelchair athlete. Wheelchair tennis, you can pretty much play a tournament um, every week of the year. So there's different levels of tournaments depending on what level of ability you are. I think for us it's the, the four Grand Slams at the pinnacle and then the Paralympics which comes around you know, once in every four years. How do you manage your schedule? Well, how many tournaments do you play? How do you work it around your life? I sit down with my team and then we discuss kind of where I'm at the training blocks that I need to have and what tournaments I want to peak at. So I would average about 20 to 25 tournaments a year and, and obviously I'm looking to be in the Grand Slams. But for the wheelchair tennis, um, it's like the top seven plus a wild card. So they're small events for us, um, but they're the best players in the world. Can you make a living being a wheelchair athlete? I think um, there are players that are making a living. We aren't earning the same prize money as the able-bodied guys, but there is more sponsorship, so there's more interest. It's definitely moving in the right direction. What are you hoping people see when they watch you play tennis? I'd like them to see how, how good the game is. Across all divisions, whether it's the ladies, the men's or the quads, the level of tennis is so high and it just shows what we're able to do. You know, the speed of the game, how quick people move, how hard we hit the balls. You know, it's a fantastic sport to watch.